Shelly is about 40 and she's been running this soup kitchen for almost 20 years. She's a nun in the tradition of the Sisters of Social Service and Dorothy Day is one of her idols. She's hitting a little bit of a wall, <laughs> questioning the efficacy of her vocation. More and more people are coming to the soup kitchen uh, because more and more people are jobless and it seems like the structures that could help people out of poverty are not being changed because she sees the same kind of hopelessness day after day. She's gotten really worn down. And then this young girl shows up and sort of reignites her faith and they form this uh, intense friendship and it sort of changes the trajectory of her life. I think I probably chose to write about a soup kitchen because I grew up working in soup kitchens. My parents are both high school teachers and they met uh, while running a group home uh, for homeless kids. I grew up working in a lot of social service organizations and when I first moved to New York I also worked um, for Fifth Avenue Committee which is a great social justice organization. I felt excited to write about the kinds of relationships that are formed uh, in places where people are explicitly there to help one another because there's a lot of extraordinarily beautiful stuff that goes on and there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on. <laughs> you know everyone's motives for helping or needing help are different and they sometimes can um, create very intense situations. I'm currently wearing three hats, uh, playwright, television writer, actor. Sometimes people will ask me which I like better or if I'm ever going to choose <laughs> and I feel like uh, they don't feel like different occupations to me. They feel like different ways of of telling a story.